At WWDC, Apple announced Mac OS 10.13. This version is called High Sierra, and it doesn't bring too many user-facing features, but the changes that are here are pretty big ones. First off is the new Apple file system. This is a new file system that currently is already in iOS, and from a user standpoint, shouldn't really affect how you use your computer, but it is more safe and secure, more efficient with flash storage. The main things to expect when using this is just a faster and more responsive computer. With this new format, there is also native support for high efficiency video encoding, also known as H.265. This is a better way to encode video, which will make your file smaller, but also retain the quality. Plus, there is now an update to Metal with Metal 2. Metal 2 focuses on graphics, and with this update, it has support for machine learning, external GPUs, and support for VR. This is mainly for developers, but it should also bring a smoother UI and animations to macOS. As far as user features, in Safari, now it has the ability to block auto-playing videos, so no longer do you have to worry about those annoying loud ads. Also, there is support for intelligent tracking prevention for ads, which protects your privacy. This won't stop ads, but it will stop the personalization of them. Also, you can customize your browsing experience site by site. In mail, there are improvements that should mean your messages take up to 35% less space. Also, Siri has been updated with a new voice and can answer more music-related questions. And now there is support for iMessage syncing between devices and iCloud Drive file sharing. In photos, there is now more editing support, so you have curves and selective color. There are new filters, and there is better support for third-party integration. Also in photos, there is the same support that we are getting in iOS 11, like live photo editing, an update to memories, and the People album can now be synced between devices. But that is what's coming in Mac OS High Sierra. It's a small feature update, but comes with big improvements on the back end. It's still in beta until the fall, so things may change, but be sure to stay tuned to MacRumors.com for any updates. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.